Hey guys, welcome back to RC Customs. Um, today we're going to be working again on the Mustang engine as well as the Mustang itself. I already have the hood off. Um, so today we're just going to do some prep work to put the engine back in. So um, we're going to be working on this, putting the timing cover back on and getting it all bolted up ready to go. We're going to make a few adjustments like getting this actually bolted in instead of just sitting there. Um, but besides that, the engine is good to go back into the car pretty much. Now we're just going to be doing some stuff on the car itself. So basically we're going to completely clean the bay. We're going to be putting some touch-up paint on it because it has substantial body damage on the front frame here as well as here. Um, I'm going to be pulling off the bumper to be uh, help cleaning, help clean everything out. And then we are going to be putting in the new hood props I ordered because one of them broke when I did the original hood. I'm going to be going online and finding a new one of these towels to replace. But basically we're just gonna be doing some cleanup work here. I'm going to be readjusting the uh, steering column because it wasn't properly uh, put in super nice when I did it the first time. So we're gonna be doing that. And basically just cleaning the whole bay out. So I already have the hood off, I'm already starting to take the bumper off. And then we're gonna start cleaning and painting. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, with the bumper off, I'm going to set that up so I can put it, a coat of primer on it. Um, so I'm just doing some gray primer, and then I was gonna refix some of these rivets. You see that saw is like a bit of a point. Maybe bend these brackets a bit so it spits a little better. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna start cleaning. So I'm gonna grab the presser washer. I'm gonna spray it down real quick. I'm going to spray it with some degreaser to get all that nasty grease off. <clears throat> Alright, with the bumper off, I'm going to um, start priming it. I'm going to start cleaning it. So, with it being clean, I'm going to scrub it down with some uh, degreaser. Then I'm going to work on these, getting these hood props off, the old ones. And at that point then, I'm going to start spraying it down with some... Uh, water from the pressure washer um, when you're doing this you just want to be careful not to really drench any electrical connections um, besides that you should be pretty good just use a low pressure just to wash everything away like all the dirt and grime and everything but besides that we should be good so i'm going to grab the pressure washer and i'm going to start spraying it down with the degreaser Hey guys, all right, I just finished detailing the whole thing. I thought I was recording it, but I did not. But it looks so much cleaner. Like you can actually see. So I'm gonna grab, go to the store. I'm gonna grab some uh, Rust-Oleum Red primer and I'm gonna prime some of the spots. And um, yeah, we're going to paint up some of the rust spots like right there. We're gonna paint up here. Um, we're just gonna kind of get it nice and nice like nice and the same color so when i put the engine in it doesn't look like kind of crap um but yeah it totally came out awesome uh so all i did was i sprayed it with purple power and then hit it with the low setting on my pressure washer here so there's still some spots i gotta hit like right here but um besides that we're going to 
leave it off to let it dry. I'm going to go get some cardboard to paint that. Um, go get some gray primer, go get some red paint, red spray paint, Bristoleum, probably high gloss spray paint. I know it's not going to be 100% color match. That's the only issue, but it's going to look way better than um, it did before. So stay tuned and we're going to be doing that. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to be priming the bumper. I just got to clean it up a bit, wipe some of that dirt off. But we're going to be using just Rust-Oleum primer, flat gray primer. Um, the reason I'm doing this is when I went to the wrap shop, they just said that they needed to have everything primed for the wrap to stick on. <coughs> Excuse me. And with the polyurethane bumper, it wouldn't stick on properly. So I've been noticing I go like that. I want to kind of talk like I'm talking to you guys. So I noticed that uh, they said that, uh, I'm sorry. So the wrap shop, they said that uh, they couldn't use, uh, they would need the bumper primed. And they said it didn't have to look nice. It didn't have to be done by a shop. It just had to get some paint, paint on it so the wrap can stick to it. So I'm just gonna be using this flat matte, flat gray primer on it. Um, after that, I'm gonna be touching up some spots in the bay with some just red paint and primer just to cover up that rust. Um, so it doesn't keep rusting out, especially on where the motor mounts sit. And then after that, I was going to start going to town on this engine. I was going to clean up the timing cover and scrape all the old RTV off and uh, start putting and mounting the new timing cover on. Um, with the new timing cover mounted on, then I was going to put the uh, valve covers on. Um, and after that, then I was going to see about maybe... Um, Tighten those bolts down and then see where I'm at with that and start assembling that again. Hopefully um, the primer should be decently dry. I know this is not how you're really supposed to paint something out in the open and crazy like this, but I just want to get a nice coat of paint on it just so when it goes to the wrap shop, they can really figure it out and they can get it done. Um, as you can tell, body work is not my specialty. So that is why I like the body is not in fantastic shape. I wish I could learn uh, more about body work, but as of right now, I really don't know that much. So we're just gonna be throwing a coat of paint on there and maybe a couple coats and getting after it that way. So I'll be back with the finished product and I'll see you guys in a bit. So I just realized I just time warped myself for the past two videos on the GoPro settings. So let me recap what was just done. We just primed the bumper. So the bumper is completely fine, primed with flat gray primer. So it matches the hood a bit. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself the way it came out. It looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna hit it with another coat. And uh, yeah. Then I tried to spot paint pieces of the car which was a bad idea because I bought bright red paint thinking it would match. I don't know why I did that, I should have bought maroon. So what we did was we ended up covering it with black primer and I got this super cool design now where the damage is on the car. So that's pretty cool. Right there it is too, right on that motor mount. But yeah, I just, basically this wasn't cosmetic. This was all doing this so I can prevent the rust that's in there from spreading. Um, if I even keep the car long enough to do an engine swap or anything crazy like that, that's when the bay would get completely redone. Right now we're just trying to get the bay in decent shape so I can keep it for a whole season running nice, you know? And I don't want any of that rust to spread and any more rust to keep going uh, on some spots that are not covered. So now we're gonna be focusing on the engine. We're gonna throw another coat on that bumper, a primer. Um, and then I'm gonna let it sit. It's already getting dry because of the sun and everything and the heat. But um, 
So we're gonna be putting, scraping all the uh, old RTV off, putting the new timing cover on, the valve covers on, and yeah, and that's probably gonna be it for me today. I'm probably gonna end the video off by throwing the hood on, just placing it on, and because I'm not, I'm gonna have to take it back off to put the engine in. I don't want to put the new hood props in until the engine is in place, and I can bolt down the hood. So. Just gonna sit there the way it was. Bumper's still off. Um, the bumper's still gonna stay off for a bit because I don't, I'm gonna have to pull the bumper off to do the engine as well. And I don't wanna have to pull it on and off and damage any of the, the primer I just put on there. So yeah, let's, let's get started on this timing cover. So then I can let's get out of here. I'm feeling a little under the weather guys. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know what it is if it's allergies or what, but I have like a bit of a headache, a little stuffy nose, but we're gonna keep going and keep rocking this project. So see you guys in a bit.
All right, guys, so we have most of it together right now. The front end, we got the water pump loosely on, got the crank pulley on with the new underdrive pulley kit. So this is the new underdrive pulley kit as long with that, as, long with, as well as that. Um, got the tensioner on, got the idler pulley on. I'm um, just looking for the bolt for the idler pulley. I put it down. I gotta go back in the footage and I gotta look, but I put it down and forgot where I put it. So I'm gonna go back in the footage and look because that was dumb of me. I don't know, I have like ADAD moments, ADHD moments, but found it. Well, I'm glad you guys caught that on camera. Fantastic. <laughs> Because I went to paint the idler pulley because it was like all rusty and nasty looking. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just put this bolt down and then. <laughs> yep. All right. So I'm going to grab the rest of the Tommy Cover bolts, uh, snug them up, and yeah. Then uh, tighten down the water pump pulley, tighten down the tensioner, tighten down the, t the idler pulley. Everything spins pretty loose and good. Tighten down. I'm not going to tighten down the crank pulley yet. I'm, on, I'm so nervous to do it because God forbid something happens. But tighten down those and then we'll start working on the heads, the valve covers. So see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, my camera battery is about to die, but I'm just basically bolting this all up. Um, basically, these gaskets are a pain in the ass. You want to just lay them on. Uh, just like lay them. Do not push them into the groove and run your finger along. Just press it on. Um, I'm going to charge my camera up and hopefully 
Uh, by the time you get back, we will be fully mounted with the valve covers and then call it a day, I can go rest. I feel like garbage today for some reason, but I'm not gonna put any more accessories on than just this to put that motor in the car. It will make it more difficult, more harder to maneuver. So we're just gonna put these uh, small accessories on and the protection stuff. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Hey guys, um, so I just got the engine, the valve covers on, all tightened down, uh, all torqued down properly. Um, everything is pretty snug on the front, all the accessories that I have on, that I want to have on for the lift. Um, I'm going to be lifting it in real soon. Um, but when I get it on the hoist, I'm going to be doing the rear main seal and the pilot bearing while it's up and out. And, uh... It'll just make it a little easier for me while it's on the hoist to do it. So I'm going to go get those from the store now. So I have them for possibly either tomorrow or later in the week. Um, I have a motorcycle class this weekend to, for riding. Uh, it helps you. It gives you your license. So I'm going to be taking that uh, this weekend. So I probably might not have that much time to work on the car this weekend, which is unfortunate. But... Um, you know, things happen, life happens. Um, but I'm at a pretty good point right now where I know all I really have to do is put this in the car, put throw the transmission in, wire it all up, and I should be good to go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, um, tighten this up, um, get it all nice and tight, do it nice, I'm gonna do it nice and slow by hand working in, and then really torque it down with the impact to uh, torque it in place. But uh, sorry, this is a little short video. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling the greatest. I think I'm coming down with something. Also, it was extremely hot today. <sighs> sorry for spring. So sorry this was a little short video and not that entertaining, but uh, come back next time where we will be putting the engine back in the mustang and having a great whole time trying to rewire this whole thing up and set it up to run so thanks for watching and stay tuned please like comment subscribe comment guys um you know i'm new to this thing uh let me know what you guys want to see more of if you like the um the music that I put on when I'm working, if you like the uh, the way I edit the videos, if you like the way the cat GoPro sounds, let me know because I'm definitely willing to make adjustments here to make it optimal for you guys. So let me know what I can do to improve the videos down in the comments below. Um, and again, like if you guys see anything that I'm doing wrong or like, oh, this is all wrong, don't, just call me out on it because we're all here to learn. Like we're all learning as I'm, I'm learning as I'm doing this whole project. So let me know down in the comments below what I could do to improve on, um, what you guys would like to see more is in the more of in the videos, what uh, what you guys would want to see as a future project for the Mustang. Um, I know I'm probably gonna be doing some tuning on it. Um, all the suspension on it i'm going to be doing some stuff to the golf next as well the tdi we're going to be doing the fuel pump and possibly a hybrid turbo um so yeah let me know what you guys want to see in the future let me just come on just give me a little something to uh, improve myself with because uh i know these videos are not perfect and i really want to improve so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for next time peace guys